A former Lackawanna County Prison Correctional Officer is speaking out. Charges were dropped Thursday against Paul Vuglino. He was accused of having sexual contact with a former inmate. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler sat down with Vuglino today to talk about the CO's experience and what his lawyer calls false accusations. I always knew there would be a light. For a year and a half, so former Lackawanna know. County prison guard Paul Vuglino has been waiting for this day. Thursday, a judge dropped all charges against him. Overjoyed, we were very excited and finally, you know, it was finally coming to an end. The end is now for Vaglino, but it all started in February of 2018 when six other guards were arrested, all accused of having sexual contact with female inmates, looping Vaglino in what grew in the media as a prison sex scandal. I don't think people understand what you have to endure, how you... You know, you have to get up every day, you have to, you know, go outside, you have to see people and people question your integrity. I knew from the beginning that the, there was just no way that the Commonwealth could prove their case because nothing added up. It was a complete uh, fabrication. So far of the seven charged in this case, one person was acquitted and two pleaded no contest for a lesser charge. Vaglino is the first to have all charges dropped. Earlier this summer, Joe D'Andrea says the Commonwealth offered Vaglino a plea deal. I told him I wouldn't even take a jaywalking charge for Paul because he didn't do anything wrong. I mean, you have to wake up every day. You have to, you know, tell your kids, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. And it's, it's, it's a very difficult time. A difficult time that now starts with healing. Voglino lost his job at the prison more than 18 months ago. His family has been living off one paycheck. He now has one request. I enjoyed going to work every day. I enjoyed helping people every day. And they took that away from me unjustly. And that, that, that doesn't, you know, I want that back. That process is likely to start soon. In Dunmore, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News. Now, Correctional Officer George McHale was also accused in this case. He got back his job in April with back pay after a jury acquitted him during his February trial.